Okay, so what causes inflammation? Now, there's a whole bunch of things that cause inflammation. Now, we know about, uh, about poor diet, in particular sugar, processed foods, vegetable oils, visceral obesity. Um, we'll come back to those. But, you know, that's not the only thing. There's uh, a sedentary lifestyle, poor sleep, stress, alcohol, smoking, lack of sun. All of these things contribute to inflammation. And as I said, if I had uh, a week to, to go through everything, we'd go through, uh, we'd go through all of these. But I'm just going to focus on, uh, on these things over here. All right, let's, uh, let's get going. Let's start with carbs and sugar, because as we know, sugar is, uh, is everywhere. Uh, so it's been pretty consistently reported that uh, the dietary sugar intake is a stimulus of subclinical uh, inflammation. And uh, it's CRP, it causes CRP to, uh, to go up quite, uh, quite nicely. And particularly it's been shown that uh, sugar sweetened beverages um, uh, raise the level of, of CRP. So there's a, that's pretty clear and I think that's, uh, you know, that's probably the easiest one that we'll, uh, we'll cover in this whole session. Um, this paper showed uh, a, a dietary pattern with high consumption of, uh, of sugar-sweetened beverages, sweets and uh, white bread, again, associated with increasing uh, CRP levels. Um, once again, another uh, review paper that, uh, this is a, a trial that showed uh, uh, low to moderate soda consumption, soft drink consumption. So it doesn't have to be a massive amount, but even quite low soft drink consumption increases uh, CRP. So what about interventions? So that's all the observations. So that what you'll see now is that there are two types of, of studies really that have been done in all this area. There's the observation trials and then there's the intervention trials. So the observation trials show that sugar is very clearly a factor. Intervention trials actually are pretty similar to the observation studies. So as a, a diet low in sugar and starch uh, tends to lower CRP. What about fructose versus glucose? Well, that's, uh, that's a nightmare. There is uh, that much uh, debate about, uh, about that. This is a, um, a systematic review that shows no significant difference between uh, fructose and glucose. And here's another one that, uh, that shows that there is, a, there is a difference. So I'm totally confused. Um, what about carbs in general? That was sugar. What about carbs in general? Um, and again, it, it seems that... Uh, there is in observational studies that there are there's plenty of evidence of increased markers of inflammation with uh, with carbohydrate or with acute and persistent hyperglycemia due to uh, to carb uh, carb uh, intake. Um, and then what about the interventions? Well, it does seem reducing carbohydrate uh, will reduce the amount of pro-inflammatory cytokines, chemokines, and adhesion uh, molecules.